Pixar latest blockbuster movie Lightyear has hit cinemas today, but the iconic character of Buzz is not played by who you might think. For millions of movie fans, Tim Allen will always be linked to the role after voicing the astronaut since 1995's Toy Story. However, Hollywood A-lister Chris Evans has put his voice acting skills to the test by taking over as the new Buzz. At the time of announcement, fans quickly questioned Pixar's decision, but much to their shock, the decision was very much intentional. According to the director of Lightyear, Angus McLean, Tim wasn't even approached for the role, despite starring in all four movies. With Chris taking the role, Hess admitted that he has taken tips from the acting legend, and even admitted to copying his work. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a Mirror Newsletter here. Marvel fans will best recognize Chris for portraying the fan-favorite role of Captain America, with Steve Rogers officially hanging up his shield in Marvel Avengers, Endgame in 2019. It's a little surprising, therefore, that he was intimidated to take on the role of voicing Buzz for the new Toy Story spin-off. When it came to delivering Buzz's famous and iconic catchphrase, to infinity and beyond, Chris admitted that he copied Alan's version. He told the Daily Telegraph, I just said, I'm doing Tim and I don't care. It makes you feel so nervous to hear yourself out loud, it almost feels wrong. It's like trying to say Bond, James Bond and you're like nope, 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 that's for someone else. Chris explained the important and ultimate pressure of the role, saying, Tim Allen, is Buzz Lightyear to me too, I grew up on these movies. So, you certainly want to use it as a template. And he did such a good job, I would be a fool to not absorb some of the choices. But at the same time you have to kind of make some kind of fresh track in the snow. Angus, who co-directed Finding Dory, revealed that there was a poignant reason why Chris was appointed the role rather than Tim. During the Hollywood premiere of the film, Angus set the record straight about the replacement, and how the decision was intentional. He told Vanity Fair, Tim's version of Buzz is a little goofier and is a little dumber, and so he is the comic relief. In this film, Buzz is the action hero. He is serious and ambitious and funny, but not in a goofy way that would undercut the drama, he said. Chris Evans has the gravitas and that movie star quality that our character needed to separate him and the movie from Tim's version of the toy and toy story. Ahead of the premiere, he confirmed the decision in an interview with Yahoo, and ultimately made the decision that he didn't want the original Buzz Lightyear to add to the confusion. He explained that the action figure, originally voiced by Alan, is a little goofier and is a little dumber, and so he is the comic relief. In this film, Buzz is the action hero. He is serious and ambitious and funny, but not in a goofy way that would undercut the drama, he added. Ahead of Chris' new role as Buzz Lightyear, the actor recently defended the film for airing a same-sex kiss. Chris rushed to defend the new blockbuster film as the beloved character is kept off-screen in 14 countries. Chris told Reuters TV, the real truth is those people are idiots. Every time Terry spins social advancement as we wake up, the American story, the human story, is one of constant social awakening and growth and that's what makes us good. There's always going to be people who are afraid and unaware and trying to hold on to what was before, he added. But those people die off like dinosaurs. 
I think the goal is to pay them no mind, march forward and embrace the growth that makes us human. Lightyear opens exclusively in cinemas on Friday, June 17. Do you have a story to share? We pay for stories. Email us at your mirror at mirror. Co.uk